who has been their offensive MVP this season? Well, I think so far, man, I think Colton Wong's been absolutely tremendous in the second half. I mean, listen, St. Louis Cardinals 21-6 and six over their last 27, but the guy that's been the guy for me has been Paul DeYoung. I'm telling you, man, 296, 13 bombs here in the second half. None more memorable than this home run here off the M and Big Mac land, which he turned into Big Act land. <laughs> next thing you know, Ozuna's going up there a couple times. He went up there the very next night off of Madison Bumgarner. I'm telling you, this guy has been in that middle of that lineup. He's playing great defense. I'm telling you, my mind, Paul DeYoung, been their MVP this year. You know, earlier today I said no one because it's been a total team effort. They all pitched in. That's why they've been on the radar. They've had a team that's playing total team baseball. But then I started thinking, they didn't start going to Paul Goldsmith. Paul Goldsmith became the home run hitter he was in Arizona. Mm -hmm. They took off. But I got one for you. you. We're not even thinking about it. They lost their top closer. Who steps in? Carlos Martinez. Yep. He has solidified their closer role. I'm going to go right now, Carlos Martinez, because he's adapted from a starting pitcher to a lights-out closer. Yeah, you either do that or Jack Flaherty on the starting rotation, I, man. He's you, been you, you got an offensive MVP? Anybody that's, you know, somebody like... Like I said, I, I, they didn't get going to Paul Goldschmidt turned it on. Right, right. When okay. they, they started seeing the player they saw in Arizona, it seemed like they, it picked up the rest of that lineup and they all took off. You know, like Azuna? I he's been Azuna, amazing. But he's always been, he's been Azuna. Azuna's Azuna. Yeah, I agree. Cars are a agree. surprise scene, like, once again. I mean, to, to right. lead the NL Central. Nobody really seems like they want to win the NL Central. Right. Do you give them a chance at all? Because right now they will face the Braves uh, in the NLDS. Would you give them a chance? Again, we talked about how good the Braves have been this season. Would you give them a, a fighting chance? 100%. Them? Definitely okay. a fighting chance. I think the Braves are a better team. But I think that's why you end up playing the game anyways, right? Mm -hmm. Five-game set. You never know what can happen in that. DeYoung, Azuna, Colton Wong, they continue to stay hot offensively, uh, defensively, they play an unbelievable defense. You got Flaherty, Hudson, Martinez shutting down games. Definitely have a chance for sure. Yeah, it's been fun to watch. Especially so Atlanta still behind the plate, too. They got a shot. I mean, the Cardinals is a winning organization. They right. continue to it's win. Baseball town. And they, they build within their organization. They're the best in baseball at that. But I, I still, you know what I'm going to say? It, I still think they're going to run out of gas with the Cubs. You, th you still think they're wow. not going to win the division? Still, you think they're, they're not? The, the St. Louis Cardinals <laughs> not going to win the division? No. Wow. Yeah, this guy. Uh, this yeah, well, this I'm guy. Not crazy, man. I've been saying it for the last two weeks. I'm just saying. Right. Roll tape. Make sure we got that on tape. I think they're a great team, though. Okay. They are. They are. Anything can happen there. All right. They had some big name injuries throughout the season. Altuve was hurt. Correa was yep. hurt. They've had some. Springer's been hurt before. Any of these current injuries concern you if you're a Nationals fan? Not right now. I just think this team needs to be he healthy <clears throat> at the end of September, and they will be. Uh, this team is ready to go to the playoffs. I think they're going to win the division. Uh, for them, it's about October. They're expect one of the teams that are expected to win it all, and I'm just not that concerned with their injuries because they're just that good. They got players who can come off the bench. You saw Tucker go deep tonight. They have an explosive off offense with a lot of depth. Yeah, I mean, offensively, I think they're fine. That's why mm. I think the Carlos Correa thing doesn't really bother me as much. But one guy that really does bother me, not being in that lineup and not being in the back end of the bullpen, is Ryan Presley. Mm -hmm. This guy right here has been absolutely tremendous. He was an all-star this year. Listen, and the reason why I'm saying this is because this. Ozuna, their closer, before he, uh, before Presley was hurt, he had a 2-8 ERA. Since Presley's been hurt, not having him set up for him, set that path, he has an ERA over 8. Mm. And I'm telling you wow. what, that that just ain't it. That's not going to get the job done, especially for the Houston Astros. Ryan Presley was the guy handing that ball over from those tremendous starters they have to that amazing closer they have in Ozuna. But if you don't have that guy in there, you've got to plug in a lot of different guys that aren't used to that role. That's where the Astros can trip up this postseason. And listen, they got plenty of offense. As long as they don't have mm -hmm. any injuries to that Morton, Verlander, Granke rotation oh, right there. Wow. I think they'll be all right, right? No, they're going to be yeah. fine. Verlander, I'm Cole, Cole Granke. I'm not Miley. worried about this team because... Their starters can go deep in ball games. They will go seven, eight, eight innings if they have to. So yes, they're gonna have an issue without Presley, but they're gonna have all hands on deck with other guys. Maybe the fourth or fifth starter might be in that role. This Houston Astros team is ready to win it all. It's one of those teams you look at on paper that can win the World Championship. Yeah, hundred percent. I think there's three teams at this point that can that can win the World Series. I think Los Angeles Dodgers. I think the Atlanta Braves are definitely moving themselves up there, but I think the Yankees and the Astros definitely favorites. That was four though. Well, I said three, said, and, three well, and a half. He said the, the, and the Braves. The, the Braves, Braves just are, are showed up, and man, they, just, little bit. they popped in there, and I was like, man, I probably said, should give them some love. He said three teams. That's an Ohio State education, you know what I'm saying? That was a switch. <laughs> <laughs>